And so we're telling the story to other people, like one of our cousins, what's going on. I'm, we're telling them, like, hey, what'd you do in Las Vegas? We're telling them all the fun we had. Uh-huh. And at one point, her cousin goes, uh, wait a minute, you you were cool with him judging this ass slapping contest? <laughs> but it's also... Mind you now, she's also cool because you don't allow nothing else other than that. Basically, what you want me to do is you want me to cater my life around you. But uh, when it becomes evident that you have to do something in particular, then it's it's uh, just a double standard. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? Um, what up, half? Hey, oh man, I'm doing great. Uh, you know, I we, we're trying to help dudes out here, and I always like a good story that can help the dudes out. Um, from my own life experience, sometimes we do celebrity stuff, and this is where um, sometimes Dante, have you ever been surprised by your own ability? Like you forget how good you are at doing this like every once in a while like oh sometimes, shit. sometimes sometimes so this is a bit of a story but bear with me here right all right last week i was in las vegas nevada doing skank fest the big comedy festival you've done it a couple times yourself yeah. it's a great time yeah yeah you know, fans great. fantastic fans are great right and the treatment to the comedians is great yeah. and i they, they invited me out i'm doing stand-up i'm doing play-by-play for uh for all the fights i'm i'm, I'm right. doing brazilian jiu-jitsu i'm doing uh you know uh you know uh sumo There's pillow so- fight oh, pillow God. fights sock God. fighting competition which by the way yamanika and, and doug stanhope were in the sock fighting competition and they just ended up ending their fight by making out which was yeah, his, hysterical and then also while i'm there i'm judging the ass slapping contest i'm doing play by play and they do an ass slapping contest, which is okay. two women. Instead of the face slapping, it's two women slapping each, other. slapping each other's ass to see who can slap it the hardest. And then uh, if one person doesn't tap, then it's, it's it goes to one of the judges. So anyway, it was a great time. My point is it's a great time, great festival. Uh, my girl and I, she was there at the festival with me. She's having a great time. We go to visit some of her family in L.A. while we're out there, you know. And so we're telling the story to other people, like one of our cousins, what's going on. I'm, we're telling them, like, hey, what'd you do in Las Vegas? We're telling them all the fun we had and the ass-slapping contest that I'm judging. Uh-huh. And at one point, her cousin, uh-huh. he, he goes, uh, wait a minute. You're, you were cool with him judging this ass-slapping contest? Yeah. Right? And she goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, he, he, I know what he does. Right? And here's the interesting part, Dante. At no point did I even consider that was going to be a, a problem. Right, right. At no point did I think I even had to ask her about yeah. it. I didn't have it. This is just what I do. This was on my agenda, on my sheet. This is just what I do, right? Yeah, I slap a contest. What I do you just, want? Yeah, so that's, that's what I do for a living. But well, my, my point is, an is it's an ass slapping, right? And it's not just that my chick is cool, which she is, which is why she's my chick. She's great. But it's also Mind you now, she's also cool because you don't allow nothing else other than that. Exactly. Uh-huh. Exactly. I'll give her credit for being cool. But the other thing is, this is something that I have set up from the beginning of the relationship. Right. There's this been is... times where you 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 she's rubbed up against that. I won't sure. even say rubbed up. I would say full out bull charged against the boundaries that you yeah. yeah as all women do they all do it right? right they all are and so but I, you have to stand your ground on that and go no this is what i do because what happens is dudes they tend to crumble they don't want the fight right so what a woman does how dare you i saw you glancing over there i you know and i, I saw you uh, i saw you giving that waitress a side eye i saw and then now you're in a fight like and you have to pretend to defend yourself like no 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 i would never do that and you're the only one you have to have those fights up front so my point is i set up that you know i set up the groundwork for that in the right. relationship because you do it every day that's how you yeah. get to that point yeah. What you can't have, you can't be in a situation. And the minute there's any incongruency, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem because they can recognize the incongruency. And the incongruency says it communicates that they're, that you're not really sure or confident about what, what's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the other thing you ha- you have to understand that in this perspective of arguing with your significant other, with your woman, is that we talk about this all the time. The argument is based on their emotions and their feelings at the time mm-hmm. or what they think is appropriate for them, right? right? So they move the goalpost of what is appropriate for them, right? and it's different for every woman because what's what their boundaries are are different from every woman, but they act like you're breaking a societal code when you violate something that they don't like. You know, yeah. I remember a story that you told one time uh, this was with an ex of yours that um, you wanted to do a road gig. Do you remember this? You wanted to do oh, a yeah, road that, gig. Oh, yeah, that was my first wife. That's how I um, we ended up divorcing because of it. What was it? What what happened for those who didn't hear the so story? She, I, w- I started doing comedy, and when I first started doing comedy, she was an intricate part of me doing comedy. Like, she used to go to shows with me and stuff, and I would be like, I asked, I, yo, is this funny? Is that funny? And then... As I became more proficient, I stopped asking her what 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 was funny or what was wasn't funny, and she didn't want to go, right? But what happened was, uh, you know, eventually comedy you get to a level where comedy takes you someplace else. You 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 can't do comedy in your house. You have to go to where the comedy is, right? And right. I got a gig in it was one of my first road gigs in Holland. I went to Holland and uh, I told her I was going and then she stopped, gave me the silent treatment for two weeks before I left. Said that, you know, man is married. He's supposed to be home with his family. He's supposed to not go nowhere. He's supposed to, to, to he's not supposed to be going on no road trips or what, which I, you know, I don't know. I mean, when, is, when was that ever written? What was I, that? Uh, it was that, was, that was her thing. Right. And as a husband, I'm supposed to, I'm like, well, what, what do you A man is not, I believe the the phrase that you told me was a man, I don't believe a man should ever spend a night away from his wife. Yeah. That yeah. was the thing. Until, but then she was going, she was online going to get, trying to get her degrees, but she was doing it online. And then part of the, 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 the ramification, you know, the parameters of getting the degree is that you have to go to the, you have to travel to the, for her particular degree she, degree, she had to travel to Indiana. She went to any University of Indiana, and we had to travel there. She had to travel there to take certain tests in person, right? Um, and the first time, I went with her, sat in a, just a little hick town, nothing to do, um, and just sat around in the hotel till she got out of class, and then whatever, right? The second time, I didn't go, but she went anyway. So what was interesting is that this idea of not spending the night away from somebody or what basically what you want me to do is you want me to cater my life around you and you you but uh, when it becomes evident that you have to do something in particular then it's it's just a double standard and I mean I'm yeah. over explaining a double standard. Well and- yeah because it's it's what's important to her cuz so they make there's no set of rules, right? And right. so what it is is they make up the rules as they go along for what yeah. they want. Yeah. What yeah. they feel and, is and I was, If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash Manschool202. Paying the bills, paying the rent, working a full jo- time job, doing comedy at night, doing you know, uh, doing movies and acting at the same time, and uh, you know, she had a daughter, she had a stepdaughter. I raised her stepdaughter like she was my own, and then all of a sudden, when I was ready to, you know, when it was time for me to, you know, to have that support, that support wasn't there. And then what happened was she I I don't think that she ever thought that she would be in a position where she would have to travel. And then when she had to travel, it was totally it was a total different thing. And she I went away to Holland. It was two weeks before she wasn't speaking to me. Um, I called her. She never called me back. And when I came back, she was still giving me the silent treatment. And upon that point, I packed my stuff and I left. 
And that was the end of it. Right? That was the end of it. And because she wasn't involved, she was jealous or just what what do you think the reasoning behind it um, was? She just I think she was jealous. I think she was definitely jealous. I think she was um she was dumb. You know, she wasn't the smartest person. I mean, I mean, she and since then she's got a master's degree. And I'm not saying that that necessarily means, but it definitely opens your thinking up wider. And she, her her thinking was limited. And uh, I mean, to be honest, her thinking was limited because her daughter, she had her daughter to keep. She was trying to keep her boyfriend at the time. So she's like, I'll get pregnant and have this daughter. And then I'll I'll uh, I'll keep my boyfriend. And, and he left. Started another family, so that didn't work out. But it was just—I think it was just a matter of um, inconsistency, uh, just just not even really thinking. Selfish. Do, I'm gonna do things the way I want to do, no matter what. You yeah, know, and and that's the the point is, you know, <clears throat> in the relationship as the man in the relationship, you always have to be the one who dictates what is and isn't appropriate, right? Now, yeah. that being said, you also have to do that for yourself. Absolutely. So you Absolutely. can't you can't be out here dictating policy, you know, when you're not at your best. So right. you can't I you know, it always drives me nuts you got these complaints about guys they don't take out the garbage. Uh, or they don't, you know, they don't make sure everything is clean. They leave their fucking clothes on the floor. How are you supposed to win an argument with somebody and tell her what is and isn't right when you can't even take care of yourself in that fashion? Yeah. Or, or if you can't, if you're not being monogamous, how are you going to dictate to her what is and isn't appropriate? If or that's how about this? even if you didn't, if you, if you said, if you said at some point in time she jumped on your back for now taking the garbage, and you said you would, and then you didn't. Then where's your where's any level of, uh, of of credibility in that, Dante? If the people out there, if they want to have the a happy relationship like I'm in, if they want to know the skills, they can reach out for a consultation. If they want to reach me, they can go email me at advicefromharry at gmail dot com to get a consultation and relationship advice. But Dante, if they want one from you, how would they go about doing that? Go to dantenever dot com and click on consult. You can get me. Right. Right. I mean, it's even even small things like every once in a while, you know, like especially during the pandemic, you know, I wasn't combing my hair. And then she is a couple of times like, oh, you didn't comb your hair. And even that she didn't even have to tell me. I'm like, well, I don't want to be that guy. I don't yeah. want to be the sloppy guy who doesn't brush it, who just gets up because I'm not going out anywhere. But it, it's all those levels. You have to maintain what is appropriate for yourself yeah. and what is appropriate from her. Because yep. you also have to assess what she's saying to you because she's going to tell you stuff that she thinks is a way to behave and a way not to behave, you know. Um, and you have to go, well, that's fair. And no, that's not fair. Because I've had, I've had girls in, I've been in numerous relationships and some girls dig the career and some girls don't. I've had girls get upset that I'm taking gigs on their birthday or, or like Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve. And you just yeah. have to go, this is what I do. If you don't like, well, I don't like it. Okay, well, if you don't like it, then you have the option to go. I, I don't, I'm not going to be pissed that you go. I get it. This is not for everyone. The problem is you can't just let th those feelings dictate because a woman's feelings are going to be all over the road. They're going to be all over the road. And you're just not going to be able to. And, and to be honest, she has a right to say what she wants or what she doesn't want, what she likes or what she don't. But so do I. I have a right to say what I like and what I don't like. I have a right to say what I will do and what I won't, won't do. And if I won't do it, then I all I have to do is say I won't do it. But this is it's so often I get consultations with guys are in their 20s, 21, 19, 21, 22, and they're, yo, I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I want to be in this relationship. Really? You really want to be in a relationship at 20? Like, that's, this is, you, 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 your life, this is the one, right? This is the one that you, I, I mean, what's the chances of you dating this person and never finding somebody else that's attractive? Hmm. Hmm. What, what are when, the odds of that? What is the odds of that happening? Um, when you have barely, uh, you, you know, to be honest, when you've barely fucking even experienced any life to any, any, any real extent, it's like, what have you done? What have you done that makes this go? Oh, this is the thing I want to, this is what I'm, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to make this life decision immediately. 
it's just the absurdness of that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, if you can say that, that would be great. But just let's be honest about what we're saying. You know, when when we're saying if you you go, I'm in this relationship. I think you're the one. Right. I mean, how can I say that at? How can I possibly say that at a fucking uh, twenty two? Yeah, twenty years old. Like it's crazy. It's insane. Right. It, it is, and that and guy dudes get married way too young. And the other thing is, there's all this. Uh, women want marriages. And it's almost like, you know, you've talked about it. Women want the wedding, but not always the they marriage. Don't want the marriage. Yeah. They're so yeah. eager to get the wedding. I mean, I can't tell you how many weddings that I've been. It's it's funny. You see so many and you're like, well, and they don't last. A lot of them don't last, especially when they're young and, and they they don't know what they're doing. But I've also told my girl, I had to tell my girl, because she's very sweet and she's a very loving person. But all of them, they always are like, when are you two getting married? When are you two getting? And I got, I've told her, you got to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. You got to stop doing that. There's oh, she usually, does that to other people. It's rare, and she rarely does it, but she did it one or two times where I had to go look. Even like nudging it and jokingly, or I, I go, you can't, you can't do that. There's a reason that that dude hasn't married. Every dude who hasn't in, in, uh, proposed. And you don't know. You have no you idea. You don't know what it is. You don't know who they are. Yeah. Well, there's also this thing where um, everybody thinks that everybody else is relationship is doing something that theirs is not you know that the grass is always greener yeah yeah it's it's like oh 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 anytime i hear that dumb noise you know uh where somebody's going uh you know but they seem so cute i mean why like you got no and 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 you know all you got to do is look in your own relationship and the dumb crap dumb shit that you're going through in your own relationship petty bullshit about nonsense and 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 the fact that you get up the other thing is not to get upset about it what i say this all the time is when you get into those kind of debates and arguments you you cannot be emotional about it um it's hard but it's important yeah it's important not to you don't you might as well not talk if you if you can't if you can't be clear about what what it is you have to say without being emotional, you can forget about it. You can forget yeah. it. You have all the all the all of the information that's coming out of your mouth has no relevancy the minute you you raise your voice, because then the whole discussion becomes about you raising your voice. And the other thing uh, that I'll throw in there is that women tend in arguments go, well, my friends, none of my friends would do this. None of their relationships are like this, and you have to go, well, I don't. Then you should go hang out with them. Yeah, because I don't care what's in their relationship. Just yeah. because what they're doing in their relationship, we can also point out all the stupid things they do in their relationship. You yeah. want to talk about how they're not having sex because they are, they're in a loveless marriage? Yeah, yeah, they've been together 20 years. We can do that too. So yeah. it's yeah. as the guy, it's your job in the relationship to dictate the pace of what that relationship is going to be, the quality of of how you guys are going to have that relationship. You know, the levels of what you are going to do, what type of relationship you're going to have. And look, yeah. if you're one of those guys, if you if you want to be in a relationship where the two of you are swinging, that's the that's up to you. If you want to yeah. be in a monogamous relationship where there's no one else involved, if you want to be in just a, a homebody where you're, a, you know, a couple that's raising a family, you set that up. But that's your job to decide that and maintain that. And because her her she's going to go all over the place. That's yeah. just the nature. It's not malicious. About sometimes it's not even a, it's not even what they want. What they haven't even. I mean, I mean, you always. I always think of that that um that that situation where you talk about you you and your lady are are, are on the um you know the protein diet. The uh, oh keep, yeah 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 yeah. We, we were trying. Let's go to brunch, and then it's like yeah, what about brunch? It's bread. It's mimosas it's everything that we can't eat like it's everything think- we can't eat we don't drink alcohol so we can't enjoy that we just said we're trying to save money it's expensive it's it's a, just a bad decision all around and yeah. why and then you have to assess why are you why is she making this decision and for me i found out that it was because she just wanted to go out it wasn't brunch brunch was just an excuse like we're yeah. spending too much time at home 
Yeah. But that's my job to as a detective to decipher that. You gotta answer. figure that out. You gotta recognize that. And that's that's the that's the burden of it's just you know, you it's the burden of you sorting out those emotions. And you but know? it's up to you to be like, no, because this is not good for either of us. Not yeah. even, even if it's just not good for me. It's not yeah. good for you. You just said you're you, hey, I want to lose weight, I want to get healthier. So yeah. now you have to be the bad guy, but that's part of it. That's yeah. part of it. You got to be the bad guy. You got to be the head Or coach, you got to go, okay, well, we'll do that. And then when when it goes, I'm fat, I don't want to hear it. I, 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 exactly. will not, I will not listen to this about it because you don't want to do anything about it. Um, it's an interesting thing how, you know, like, I, I it, first thing is, um, you know, you got to put yourself first. Um, and because if you don't, she won't. And, and what I mean by that is that as a man who is in a relationship that is failing, there's nothing we feel more uh, depressed about is having a relationship that fails. Um, nobody wants to be with a girl that she's not happy being with you, that she's dissatisfied about being with you. Um, you want her to be happy. You want her to go, oh, that's my man, and and he takes care of me, and he's so good with me. And you want her to brag about. It. I mean, we live our 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 value is definitely attached to our ability to provide, and that means provide financially, emotionally, intimately, sexually, and everything in between it. And when we don't satisfy that, we take that personal, even though sometimes it's not our fault. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.